Hello and welcome back to Operations Void. I'm your host, Forgotten Void, and this week we are going to do uh, something a little bit different from the past. Uh, I know last patch the uh, the new the ops have been dropped for tier nine, ten, and super ships. So a lot of people are doing that, and I've noticed a lot of people are having frustrations with how difficult they are. Well, super ships are supposed to have difficult enemies. Enemies, it's not. It's not going to be easy mode if you're in a super ship. It is kind of hard mode with all that. And so if you're in a full hard, full super ship uh, team, then yes, it's, it's going to be hard. But a little birdie told me that there might be an easy mode for operations. So we are going to test this out. Yes, this is a live commentary. And that's actually the different part is because it's not a pre-recorded video, but live commentary. Uh, I just got home from work, and so we are going to take out the Eagle. Now, the Eagle is uh, its not a tech tree ship. However, it's a coal ship, so its you can use it, earn in-game currency. It's pretty easy to get the enough currency to get an Eagle because it's just shy of 50,000 uh, coal. So its you don't have to wait that much to get it, and I believe... It is the best, on my personal opinion, it is the best tier 6 option for coal. And for captain, we are just doing the standard destroyer captain. This is how you build all destroyers. So it's protective main, preventative maintenance, last stand, survivability expert, and concealment expert. This is how you build all destroyers doesn't matter the destroyer this is how you start with destroyers um, reason being is preventive maintenance um, reduce the risk of your modules being incapacitated and being a destroyer your modules are really weak um, meaning your main gun and torpedoes can easily be and uh, steering gear and engine can all be uh, knocked out really easy and this increases their survivability um, by 30%. Uh, last stand, so that if, no, no, I'm sorry, no, if, but when your steering gears and engine are knocked out, you can still maneuver. Uh, survivability expert. Uh, this puts us, let's see, if we send the captain to reserve, you have 1700, uh, and this brings us up 2,100 hit points. That's actually a good bit for destroyers since you already have so low hit points already. And then concealment expert, because this allows you to stealth torp. So when things get bad, you can always rely on your torpedoes. Uh, because you don't have much uh, HP, you want to be able to rely on your torpedoes. After that, it depends on the destroyer, whether you get your gun skills, uh, gun skill, gun skill, gun skill, um, or, or you get your uh, torpedo skills. Now, Igo is a hybrid, so she is both guns and torpedoes. So the first thing we'd get is Adrenaline Rush. And this allows us to uh, have better reload when uh, HP is low. Uh, after that, Artillery, we have 12.8 kilometers. That's actually good for Tier 6, so we don't need to extend. And she has smoke, so we're not going to be out, so we were not going to do Fearless Brawler. So the other skills we'd get are probably these. So here we go. Now th this puts us at 19 points. We now have two points. Here is where thing you can uh, change things. With 180 degree turn time of 27 seconds, you can go for this to bring that down to 24. Still pretty slow. Uh, you can go for priority targets. So this will allow you to open water gunboat instead of um, being uh, making sure you that you have smoke. Uh, we don't do uh, superintendent because usually three smokes are plenty. I mean, sometimes you want a fourth, but usually three are plenty. If you use islands, then it's plenty. Uh, the other thing is um, you, I mean, if you do grease the gears, then you can get consumable what? Uh, specialist, which reduces the reload time. Uh, the other things are, uh, no, I don't get swift fish. Uh, the other thing would be demolition expert, and this brings our fire chance, uh, fire chance from uh, ten percent to eleven. Uh, the other thing I think you could do is you could actually. Uh, 
What's the torpedo reload time? Torpedo reload time is 77 seconds. So you could actually forget the uh, fill the tubes because that gets you down to 70 seconds. You can instead go for inertia fuse HE. While this reduces your fire chance to, um, uh, okay, your base fire chance is 4%. I have the f signals on there, that's why it's 5.5. Uh, so this reduces your ch uh, fire chance from 9 to 4.5, but increases your penetration to 28 millimeters. And this will actually allow you to penetrate uh, a lot more things because one, it crosses the 25 millimeter threshold that a lot of cruisers have. Two, it crosses the 26 and 27 millimeter threshold that a lot of battleship uh, frontal armor have. And so that's where you go from having H uh, going for fire damage to going to HE direct damage. And so that's the uh, benefit of uh, a inertial fuse for HE shells with everybody calls IFHE. Uh, however, we're going to use a standard 10 point uh, captain to showcase uh, what you can do in a 10 point captain without anything, which is kind of what like a newer player. We're going to try and simulate a newer player. This is your first coal ship, first premium ship, or whatever, first tier 6 premium ship. Uh, we are going to showcase what you can do uh, here. And we're not going to go into div to uh, show as you can do alone. So with that, we'll go ahead and hop into battle. Now you can get queued with tier 7 ships, but you're not going to get queued with tier 8 ships. With the uh, way the queues work, it's a plus minus 1, so you can either get queued with ships one tier above or one tier below. The only way to get two tier spread is, no, so that makes a two tier spread, so a one up and one down. But the only way to get a uh, ship two tiers away from your ship is if someone's in a div and fail div. So, and you can't actually do that in a tier six ship. You cannot, you will only see tier seven ships. You will not see a fail div on a tier six if you're alone. Um, because if fail diffs can only be uh, done, so like a tier eight with a tier seven can see uh, tier nines, or a tier seven with a tier six can see tier eights, but alone you cannot. Oh look, it's Narai. Uh, so Narai, we're going to go into the harbor. Um, what are we going to decide to do? Let's see. We have Arizona, West Virginia, forty-one, Dallas, Lockdown. Uh, Schrodenberg and another Eigel. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five out of the seven here are in premiums. Uh, we're going to swap to armor piercing for the Emile, the first uh, French cruiser. We're going to see where people go. Uh, normally, I like to go to the carrier route, and we can do that uh, kind of alone. But sometimes we need to go the uh, tr the transport route. I want to see where people want to go before deciding which way we are going to go. Being a French destroyer, you do get speed, and you have larger size guns with the uh, 30, oh, 139 millimeters instead of 127. Uh, that does add up. That's why you're able to cross the. You have a. You can get. Uh, 28 millimeters a pen. Whereas 127s only get 26 millimeters of a pen, I believe. Ooh, no more meal. And I see they're shooting at us. Now we're on fire. Uh, New York's still turning their guns. We're not worried too much about New York because they're still loading their guns. And now that our torpedoes are loaded, I'm gonna throw them at the New York so that our guns can focus on the Nicholas. As you notice, the Nicholas only had 9,000 HP. Uh, we actually probably could have only sent one rack and been fine. That was my bad. That's said 34,000 HP New York. Yeah, we probably should have just sent one rack. 
and we're going to swap to our piercing 37 h thousand hp on the qe 21,000 on the lancer uh oh look a 20,000 leander let's use armor piercing against the broadside of leander for up oh, there's one citadel uh oh i forgot to talk about the modules i'll talk about the modules after the battle but it should just be standard modules Ah, oh, that's armor piercing Go for French saturation. French boats do have special saturation mechanics. There goes the Yander. We only got four citadels on it. Main was a little bit off. Uh, they do have weird saturation mechanics. Um, if you click this video, here is a video that showcases how weird they can be in a temporary op where everyone else would take damage and friendship does not. I'm not sure if the Maigo actually gets the French. Uh, saturation mechanics. But I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Yep. There are those two go. So next we have the Dallas. Dallas is a little bit scary. Just, just a little bit. Uh, and La Gal. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to. We're actually not going to torp the Dallas. want to use guns against the Dallas as we kind of use the island to uh, hide away the Dallas does have slower turrets and there's our engine knocked out see we get a knocked out but we're fine there we go we get a citadel on the Dallas as we're using the island to uh, block shots so we're able to get a little bit of damage on the Dallas uh, I believe I should have engine repair, so I'm not going to repair the engi engine because... Uh, ah, there we go. Maximum speed minus 13% instead of minus zero. Uh, Missouri. Uh, we are going to have to turn in a little bit for Missouri because we have 8 kilometer torps and we want to make sure that the torps hit. Uh, we are within 9.5, so Missouri now radars. We're going to uh, say hello to Cleveland there. Send one salvo t at Cleveland to make sure Cleveland moves. As soon as uh, Missouri's radar is up, we will smoke up. But yeah, that's a 54,000 HP in Missouri. Look how cute it is. Uh, I have a video video here this video is uh with all super ships so you can and cherry blossom so you can kind of see the difference and there we go we're dark ah we missed the uh we only got two torpedoes and yet we are have already halved the hp of missouri missouri is now used as dcp we are smoking up So that we can farm down the rest of Missouri, maybe. And apparently our team cannot kill the uh, other cruisers. Because our Dallas and Legal, I don't know where they went. Our, and our Igo is dead. Oh look, Wakeful's coming out. Looks like we'll need to kill the Wakeful so that it doesn't come out and torp our transports. So when you shoot one of the uh, either Wakeful or the uh, Cleveland, they both activate and start moving and shooting. Well, they already start shooting immediately if they can see something, but they start moving. And while they are supposed to be harbor guards, the Wakeful will come out and torp what it can. So it is important to uh, 
guard the harbor or be prepared for a wakeful appearing. Now we're going to use high explosive. High explosive will do damage against uh, forts from any range. Uh, armor piercing depends on your gun caliber at what range it will do damage because it either does full or no damage. But high explosive does partial damage at further away. Uh, sap does zero damage. Well, sap requires has the same uh, parameters as uh, armor piercing. So you need to ha be able to pen it with sap in order to do AE damage since it doesn't do partial damage like each high explosive does. Now we are in a little bit of a pickle because as you see we're only at 8,500 HP. And there's uh, going to be a Farragut, there's going to be an Omaha, and a Lexington. So hopefully we can, if we are lucky, we might be able to get the Farragut with a torpedo. Hopefully the Legal actually backs us up. Uh, okay. We have one more spoke coming up. There's the Farragut. Smoke up right here. So the Farragut is detected by the Lagal. Oh, looks like we might have get to, and gotten a torpedo hit anyways. There we go. So we used our torpedoes. Now I want to swap to armor piercing. Because there's an Omaha here. Unfortunately, Omaha has Hydro, so what we must do is kill the Omaha before it kills us. So we're going to try and use our speed boost to speed juke the shells, and there we go. We were able to kill the Omaha with uh, armor piercing before it kills us. Now we get to farm the Lexington. So we already used uh, that. Let's see, 3.1 is our range, so now the Lexington secondary is my, we're going to shoot us. So, use torps, and hopefully we can get out of detection before the Lexington kills us. So I'm going to turn off AA just in case. Two, one, and we're, well... It's dead. So we don't actually have the HP to go into the harbor now. And this is where, see if we didn't have, uh, what's it? If we didn't have uh, survivability expert, we'd already be dead. But because we have survivability expert, we were able to take that extra little damage and we're still alive. We're able to go to the healing circle, hopefully, maybe. Uh, looks like our car Schroederberg was failed the transport task. Uh, so we are going to ignore that since that's already a failed task. We're going to focus on the main task, which is defend the lead transport. We're going to do that by going to the lead transport and repairing first. And providing backup gunnery. So since the bots like to target the, the ship that's spotted closest to them first and that they can actually shoot at uh, we should be able to open fire without uh, being worried about being fired upon oh we already have we still have higher armor piercing switch that back to high explosive And so we're shooting at the Pertang because it was the easiest target for us. There it just DCP'd. We're gonna say hello to New Mexico there. Squeeze in between the those ships. Now we're gonna try and start shooting at the Mahan.
So we're going to start by smoke, laying a smoke here on the lead transport. So this was guaranteed defense of the lead transport. And we're going to continue at the Mahan because it has torpedoes. The next I would choose would be um, Omaha, but uh, the battleships can actually pen that through the front. Are able to get two torpedo on the New Mexico? Or was one on the Omaha? There you go. The bow of the Omaha certainly looks saturated. As soon as we're mostly healed, we're actually going to go out uh, to get flanking shots. Because uh, with the cruisers at so low HP, we can actually gun them down with our armor piercing. So we're going to get into position so we can gun down the Indianapolis. Let's see how is QE. Uh, and then we are our radared because uh, Chapayev just spawned. So Chapayev of course uses radar. So we're going to send one rack of torps at the Queen Elizabeth, because I believe that should be all that is needed. Now, right here, this is where I'd want priority target. To, is the Indianapolis looking at me? Is it not? Is some other ship looking at me? Is the Colorado looking at me? Well, Indianapolis dead. Doesn't matter if it's looking at me. And this is what I mean. The armor piercing on the Eagle is really good. Because you're able to uh, citadel the broadsides of cruisers. Anchorage over there has... Um, Torpedoes, so I don't want it to uh, torpedo us. Only one torpedo on the Queen Elizabeth. We are in secondary range, so the secondaries are working. All of the QE's secondaries are. But what it means is now it's going to be looking at us rather than uh, our allies. And so, and there they go. Uh, we're going to activate engine boost so we can speed juke a little bit more. Yeah, we are not able to sit it out with the anchorage from that direction. So our speed boost is plus 20%. So right now we are minus 9% uh, plus 20. And Farragut's shooting at us. Oh, lovely Farragut. Now Chapayev, I know we are able to sit it out. It's uh, anchorage that I'm not sure of. Because Anchorage is a heavy cruiser. Chapayev is a light cruiser. And Anchorage is American, whereas Chapayev is Russian. So I like Chapayev there. We're gonna DCP that. There we go, two citadels. And by adjusting our speed, going back and forth like this, we're able to pre-dodge torps or make it so that uh, ships can't get an accurate lead on us with torps. Uh, unlike the Arizona over there, who uh, is dodging by turning. And then we're going to send a couple of racks at the Colorado. One on the white line, one behind the white line in case they slow down, which appears they are slowing down. Uh, one nice thing about... Is we V40... Yeah, we V-41 is still alive. Since West Virginia has a 406s, 16-inch guns, it can overmatch the bow of Colorado. And we're able to get two torpedoes there. So it doesn't need to have broadside like most battleships need in order to pen uh, Colorado or any of the battleships in that mismatch other than Missouri. So there we go. Eagle in a tier six ship. We're not we're not able to destroy the lead. We're able we went after the carrier, so we we're able to destroy the carrier. We made sure to secure that. 
we came back and we protected lead ship, so the lead ship is protected. Uh, our allies, on the other hand, one, did not uh, go get all the transports. Uh, not all the transports were successfully protected because, well, we went off uh, one way, so it's kind of, I mean, we can kind of take fault before that, but we got the king in instead. I'm not sure the Lagao would have been able to do the same thing we did. And then secure the safe landing because our transports took fire. We did not ke keep all, our f all of our transports. Now, this what this means is Nurai is completed, so we get the base rewards. One star is plus 10%. Two stars plus 10%. So we get plus 20% uh, for rewards. So basically, uh, you can get an. You basically get double. Uh, yeah, you basically kind of get. Is it either plus fifty? Yeah, no. You get plus. You can get up to plus fifty percent base economy rewards by getting all the stars. So that's why you want to do the secondaries. So we're only getting plus twenty percent of the base economy rewards. How do I know this? Well, we went in and tested it uh, back when you can choose an op and did a very very um, controlled test. Uh, anyways, so there we are. We have major contribution, which means we did 35% of total damage. Uh, we have assistant, which means we did 10% uh, uh, to half of the enemy ships. 10% damage to half the enemy ships. We only have five kills, but we have 250k damage. 250k for uh, major contribution means that one, the enemy H pool was pretty small. Two, the allies act, our allies didn't do much. Uh, so, team score, we're up here at uh, 1,200 base. So remember, we are at uh, plus 20%. So uh, base XP would have been about 1,000. Uh, Arizona's base XP would have been a little bit less. So if we got a five star, we would have actually been at uh, 1,500 base XP. But be... Mm, Actually, it might actually be up to 1600 with uh, those numbers. So we'd be at just over 1600 base XP with a five star, but we only did a uh, two star, so we are at 1273. Uh, pretty even split on the uh, top of uh, four kills, but as you can see, the base XP difference means that we our damage was more valuable uh, going after cruiser, cruiser, destroyer, a uh, little bit on the battleships, but most more on the cruisers and destroyers. Uh, because so 5,000 on the Mahan, when the Mahan doesn't have, only has 9,000, that's 50% of the HP. Lexington, we did most of the damage to. Omaha, that's a full Omaha right there, uh, 1,880. Um, so Indianapolis, that's mostly full Indianapolis. So when we're doing damage, we're doing mostly full damage. Missouri, that's half of a Missouri. So when we're, we're doing damage the percent of the ship matters more than the actual HP and total damage you do for rewards. So our shells, we had 44k with high explosive, 109k with armor piercing. This is where the ship truly shines, the armor piercing, getting those broadside citadels up close. Uh, and you don't actually have to be that close as you saw with the Chapayev where you're pretty far away. Um, so the armor piercing on broadsides is where the ship shines. Uh, torpedoes, we did 100k with uh, torpedoes as well. The torpedoes hit hard, so they go a little bit slow, but they do hit hard. And then they, they have the fast reload with the uh, 77 second uh, reload base. And then credits received, uh, we were using a green booster, so we got 370k uh, credits, and that's profit. That's, that's just total profit because the having a tier 6 server cost is very little. Like the bonus package for it, it covers half the service cost. Uh, so you don't really have to run uh, the uh, boosters to get good profit with tier 6 premiums. And so you, if you don't have boosters, this is where you can earn money, especially as you see the HP is low. So it's actually more of an easier mode. Uh, with that, uh, the ship modules that I forgot to talk to you about. The ship modules. Oh, why are we running torpedo module? This, I found my issue. Uh, we shouldn't actually be running that. So 
the suggestion is uh, main traverse speed plus 15%. Uh, what's, what's this? Main traverse speed plus 15%. This, so it might actually get you so your turrets don't, so with uh, grease the gears and uh, the turret traverse, you might actually not outturn your turrets. So that's probably why it wants you that. However, what I would, I don't know why I do torpedo. Uh, the torpedo incapacitation is to keep your torpedoes from being uh, destroyed. Uh, although from now on, we're going to do uh, aiming systems because I like to treat Igo more as a gunboat because the guns are so good. Uh, and this gets us a little, uh, the dispersion. So we have uh, minus 7% shell dispersion, which will help us hit the targets, hit those citadels more often. Um, and I can more or less adjust to the, uh, the turrets being a little bit slow. In fact, uh, my build, when I finally do it, will probably look like this. It'll probably this, this, and uh, this. This will probably be my build when I, with a twenty, with the twenty-one point captain. Is is that even worth it? Reload time minus point oh two percent. No, no minus. Yeah, four point. I don't. Yeah, no. I might. I I would. Actually, this is probably be my build. This would this so this would be my build uh, when I get a twenty one point captain, the uh, prior target so I can uh, open water gun boat, the demolition expert to counteract the uh, fire chance so we're only at minus three point five percent total. Um, well, actually, yeah. Uh, so with the signals and the that that would this would be my build so. I'll, and the greasy gears to get uh, the turret traverse without using the module, so we get the better, uh, ac better accuracy. Uh, I don't have engine burn protection. I should have engine room protection. Uh, here's me being silly with my um, uh, mods. Uh, we have prop mod because prop mod helps us uh, uh, speed up and slow down to dodge. We accuracy. Uh, engine room protection will. Uh, in reduce the uh, chance your engines get incapacitated as you saw how often it got incapacitated when I didn't have it uh, this will help this also speeds up the repair time and then main armaments keeps our main armaments good we don't actually need Juliet Charlie because I'm not running in randoms or ranked so we can remove that we do the fire chance and we do the signal you could also do November Foxtrot but uh, speed Fire chance, fire chance is really all you actually need. Uh, French chip for speed. This gets us from uh, 36 knots to 37.8, which actually is on the slower side for destroyers, surprisingly. Well, I guess for tier six, it's decent. Uh, and then the fire chance, this between the both of them, this gets you to uh, plus one percent fire chance. You also get plus four percent flooding. Not that that really matters. We just want it for the extra plus one percent. So, with this and uh, demolition expert, and we can still have a six point five percent chance of fires with uh, inertia fuse for IFHE. Uh, currently, we have a ten percent, which is actually really good for destroyer. So. That is uh, how I would build the Eagle. I hope you enjoyed this uh, lower tier video. I know it's not a tech tree ship, but it is uh, my most recommended freemium uh, tier six. I guess Shinonome is also a freemium if you do, but you have to play uh, PVP to get it. Um, and I did play it in P PVP to get it, uh, and it's all right. But uh, I got it when it when its gimmick was actually a gimmick. No, well, I mean, it still has its gimmick, but. Uh, so, I got Shinonomi a while back. I don't really use it, her that much. Uh, she also has eight kilometer torpedoes, but she's not as good a gunboat as Igel. Uh, Igel is better as a gunboat. She has nice torpedoes. Um, so Igel is my favorite tier six uh, freemium. Uh, 
if you want a uh, tier six tech tree uh gate gate would be my recommended tier six tech tree uh as you can see it's actually built correctly uh, the reason why is we want the 150s they have a 7.5 second reload uh so there you can actually go with the skills uh uh, no, we're not going to do that. But uh, because of the 150 millimeter, she has more or less the same capabilities as Igel with penetration, but she doesn't have quite have the reload. Um, she just has more damage. So what? Uh, 37,000 damage for that versus uh, 2,600. So you're going from DPM over to uh, penetration. And so that's why I like the eagle. So, if you like this video, like this uh, difference uh, going for tier sixes, give uh, that uh, give a thumbs up, or uh, not if you'd want to keep your uh, preferences a secret from me because I'm really the only one. I can't even see who likes my videos. I can only see who comments, and I do enjoy the comments. Uh, and I thank all of you who subscribe and uh, go ahead share this channel because I want to share my knowledge. I want more people to be better at ops. I don't want to complain that people are bad at ops. I want people to be better at ops. I want to be a source of knowledge. Uh, if you have something that you have questions of, please ask. I would gladly share any knowledge I have. I do write the wiki. I am working on the wiki in the background. I'm waiting for people to review wiki pages before they are posted, but I am working on making sure that the wiki for the end pa pages are updated to the new um, uh, issues and uh, new um, ops with the higher tiers. So uh, keep an eye out and they should be updated. That said, I do hope to see you again next week. Have a good one.